Hey guys, it is Miss Simrino. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back. And if you are brand new, I am so excited that you decided to join me here today for a very special custom content overview because I partnered up with the wonderful and amazing custom content creator, Charlie Pancakes, and we came up with the Lighthouse Collection, which I am going to be highlighting for you all today. I am so, so excited about this. I reached out to Charlie months ago, just trying to say, hey, I know nothing about custom content. Can we work together and bring this particular set to life? And she was so, so wonderful. It was so much fun to work with her on this concept and to see all of these items start to come to life. So I wanna tell you a little bit about this collection before I show you all of the items. Now, as many of you may or may not already know, I am a lifelong native New Englander. I live in New England. I was born and raised here. And Brindleton Bay, which is where we are today, is one of my absolute favorite worlds in The Sims 4 because it was modeled after New England. And though I love cats and dogs on a lot of the objects that came with that pack, I was looking for more traditional, almost colonial looking items that would kind of match this whole Cape Cod interior design that I saw a lot when I was at Cape Cod in the summers. Now, I never had a house there. <laughs> Let me be very clear. I visited because I was a complete and total tourist. I did not live nearby <laughs> and I did not own any property there. But the style is something that I consider very, very typical of New England, very reminiscent of New England. It has a lot of colonial, more traditional elements. And I was really looking to try to bring a little bit more of that to The Sims. So Charlie and I came up with, oh gosh, do I have to count the amount of items? I don't even remember how many items we had. 23, 23 items. And that includes three wallpapers and a flooring. And then the rest of the 19 are actual items that you can place in your game to furnish a living room. I was so happy that we focused on the living room space because that is where my Sims spend the most of their time. And I just loved a lot of the inspiration pictures that I pulled to create like this giant mood board. I actually made like a whole PDF like presentation type thing. I went all in and I could not have done it without Charlie. I, I'm i just so grateful that she was willing to work with me and do this with me. It was such a fun process. So I am gonna show you all the items that are coming with this pack. So we've got the three wallpapers here. Now we do have this one, which is my personal favorite because I love the paneling. I think we need more paneling like this because it's just a little bit less, I guess, regal looking as some of the ones that we have with base game, for example, but it is a little more neutral as well than the ones that we got with cats and dogs. This to me adds a little bit more of a traditional flair, but when we compare it to some of these other panelings, which I think are so, so pretty, and there's so many swatches, you guys, there's so, so many swatches that you can pick from. But like, look at this and what you can actually do. Wait, hold on. I'll make this make more sense. Look, it matches. <laughs> it matches this paneling here. And then you also just have a thicker. Well, this might not actually be thicker per se, but um, it does have the molding. So if you're looking for the molding to carry through, you can go ahead and do this and have an accent wall that doesn't look maybe as out of place as this one may without the molding. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm just really excited about this. I'm so excited to show you all this. Finally, I have been keeping this a secret for so, so long. So let me just get all of these up here. And you know what? We're just going to go with this white paneling and molding because it's one of my favorites personally. <laughs> and this kind of like sand colored uh, wallpaper as well. But like I said, there's so many different colors. Like look at this kind of bluey deep mossy green we also have some darker blues some lighter blues we have some like foresty sage greens as well we've got a really bold pink <laughs> we have some darker browns like there's just tons of different ways that you can mix and match these especially with the flooring and the furniture items that come with this so charlie did create us this beautiful wood flooring and i really gravitate towards some of the darker woods personally. I think you guys know this at this point. I love dark woods, but we do have some more um, like lighter woods. We also have some kind of grayscale and white looking woods. There's just so many different shades and some of them are 
ever so slightly different, but they make such a world of difference when you're actually trying to lay down flooring and pick a color scheme. So, you know, we have that one over here. This was a little bit different. This one has somewhat more of a grayscale. We've got this one here, just a lighter shade. And then again, we're getting into more of the natural wood flooring colors as well. But there's just so much variation, so many things that you can play around with. I am just so thrilled <laughs> that we have these different wood floorings. I think they look so, so nice. I really, really like them. And again, you can mix and match so many different color schemes with this. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Now that I've shown you all the wallpapers and the flooring option, I wanted to start going through these items because I am the most, and I mean the most excited, for the couch and the artwork. The couch is just, oh, like think Pottery Barn. That was pretty much the inspiration. Think Pottery Barn. <laughs> but I think it's so beautiful. I think the thumbnail for this video is this dark blue swatch, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I completely failed to mention that if you download Charlie's other custom content creations, a lot of these swatches match other things that she's already created. So you can actually mix and match these with any of our other custom content. And we wanted to make sure that a lot of the swatches did match with the items that came with cats and dogs too, because it's meant to fit into this world. But I'll just go with this kind of like dark blue as my favorite, but we have like a lighter salmon pink. We have a red, we have a yellow. There's this nice deep green, some browns, some whites and some other like sandy colors as well. Again, you can mix and match so, so much with these items. Now, the best part about this you don't only get a couch, you also get a love seat, and you also get an armchair. You actually get a full living room set. Can you imagine an actual full living room set? So I'm just gonna go ahead and show off some of these other swatches too, because <laughs> I have the ability to do so. I'll do like the dark brown. I actually, no, no, I really like the green actually. The green's really pretty. So you get an entire set and one of the other best parts is I believe these are the very first custom content pillows that Charlie has created, but you do get some pillows here to place on your couches. Now these come in some great swatches as well. And the actual pattern on them is a little bit more contemporary, but I think that tying in that contemporary element to more traditional colonial looking furniture is really nice. And I think it ties into the Sims 4 style a lot more. So you do have some solid colors such as the pinks and the greens, even the dark blue if you really want your pillows to just match the couch. <laughs> but you also have a few different patterns as well in some more neutral shades so you can mix and match. So personally, I like the white with kind of this blue pattern on it. I know the sunlight in the game is kind of, <laughs> it's kind of uh, washing it out. That's the word I'm looking for. But you have that, you have that pillow, and then you also have this one right here which is really, really nice. You can put it in the center of a couch. You could put it, for example, on the armchair and it just looks so nice. I personally love to layer custom content pillows. So that's something I'll definitely be doing with this bag. But again, you get some solid swatches. You also get the pattern ones. And I like that this one's a little bit different from the other pillows. The pattern might be striped, but it's just different enough that you can kind of mix and match them and it works perfectly. Now, we have some more decorative items. We have a handful of paintings, which they just blew my mind. They made me so, so happy. Now again, we have some more, we have like some floral patterns in here, some floral artwork, but we also have, of course, very Seacoast nautical themed artwork as well. So this piece right here, look at it. Look at the little like barn, the watercolor. We also have some flowers and then kind of like an abstract mountains uh, scape. And then we have Looks like a vase that's fallen over. Not quite sure, but I really like it. <laughs> I'm gonna use the flowers as an example, but then we also have these very nautical themed ones. They're absolutely gorgeous. We have this lighthouse here. We also have the beach with like a little seashell. We have some grass, which is very pretty. And we have the seagull on top of a rock. And then we just have kind of like this grayscale um, abstract painting as well. So it's really nice. You get all these different frame colors as well to match either the molding that you chose or the different wood textures that you chose and other pieces of furniture. So I'll go ahead and leave that one up there as an example. We also have a few landscape paintings, landscape oriented, I should say. We have this sailboat here and then we also have a few others that are a little bit more abstract. That kind of looks like beachgoers on the beach in line to me. 
I don't know if that's what it's meant to be, but we also have this mountain and of course um, a picture of the ocean here too. So again, you can kind of go monochromatic, like you can go kind of grayscale, white and black with things if you wanted to. But you can also bring in some more like softer tones and some of these nautical themes as well. And then this is going to be the last one for the wall decorations. This one has a chunkier frame, which I personally really, really like. We have kind of some rocks on the beach here. We also have more rocks on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> another la uh, landscaping, another lighthouse painting, and some more flowers as well at another grayscale of like a dock area. I think Charlie brought in some incredible ideas for this, things that I never would have thought of, especially like the florals and things like that. I love how she tied in these elements as we brainstorm. So those are all of the wall paintings. Now you also get a bookcase. Here's the bookcase and how could I forget how far I can't, I don't know how I forgot this, but you also have this little end table, which I think is absolutely adorable and fits in so, so nicely. Now, let me make some space here too, because you have this console table. Oh, and it's, it's like, it's curved. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a half sphere. I just love it so, so freaking much. It's so beautiful. It's easily one of my favorite items that we ended up coming up with. So you have these and again, they come in tons of different swatches so you can match them with a lot of different Maxis colors. We even have like a gray and a green tone and then we have some lighter wood tones, some sandy ones, white. We have a really, really dark uh, brown as well, which goes again, so nicely with the cats and dogs items. And that can be said for all of these items as well. So you can change all of those swatches. I think there's even more for the bookcase because there are some individual swatches for the back of the bookcase in the shelves themselves, which is really nice. It kind of gives it a little bit of depth. So for example, this one is so nice because the wood is just a little bit different, which I greatly enjoy. Now the last few items that came with this pack are some stacks of books because you need some clutter items. Like this is just, this is a given, right? So we have this stack of books right here. I'll just plop it on the bookshelf because why not? And we've got some different swatches just to kind of match some of these more neutral colors that you could create your interiors with. So we've got like some blues and greens, but also blacks and some dark browns, some whites, some off whites, things like that. We also have this stacked one, which is my favorite. And I'll actually put it here because there's artwork on the cover. Oh, I just love it. I love it so much, but we do have some different swatches. The artwork doesn't change aside from just some colors, which I actually really like. I really do like that. I'm going to put it in that color because I enjoy this. And of course, one of my favorite things to do is size things up and size them down just to make them look like different items. So I might even size this down myself to put it on like a coffee table or something like that. But it seems like it's also a photo book. So those might be a little bit bigger. Now we also have three more stacks of books to really diversify how you can stagger these to make your bookshelf look unique to your Sims and the household that you're creating. So again, the bindings do change colors. So you can kind of go with more of like a white tone. We'll do that. We have this one here as well. Oh wait, that's the same one, my bad. <laughs> we have this one here as well. Again, just to try to diversify how those books will look on the shelf. And then this is going to be the last one. Oh, I just, I'm so happy. <laughs> just love it so so much now we do have two more decorative items uh charlie came up with the great idea of taking the little lighthouse from the cats and dogs lighthouse lamp and just making it a decoration item so now we have just this little tiny lighthouse that has the i think the same swatches as the lamp itself but it's so nice because it's just a decorative piece and you can kind of toss that anywhere you'd like and last but not least we have this little standing piece of artwork, which is also one of my favorite items in this pack that we came up with together. Now I know it's difficult to see with the sunlight what these swatches look like, but they do mirror a few of the different pieces of artwork from the wall art with some variations, such as this one, which is more of like a grayscale of the farmhouse that the other painting had that was kind of like a green tone. So. There's a lot of diversity in what you can do here, but this is the lighthouse collection that myself and Charlie Pancakes came up with. I am just, again, so grateful to her 
for doing this with me. It was so much fun and I hope to learn so much more from her in the future. But this is now available on Charlie Pancake's Patreon for early access and you can check out her page to find out when this will be publicly released as well. But I hope you all enjoyed this. I cannot wait to hear your thoughts and I will catch you next time I post a video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.